So, on to some of the things we've done since then. Excuse me. We built an airplane, designed an airplane called Nemesis. And uh, this was uh, in the early 90s that we did. I had been racing Formula One for several years before that. Nemesis was a world beater, literally. The question that everybody asked, how did you make it look so easy? Well, nothing good is ever easy. So we had to assume an approach for building a new airplane, designing an airplane specifically to point race and go fast and kick everybody's butt. So what we did, we were racing typically against a 1950s design uh, aerodynamic airplane called a cassette. Great airplane, had one, had a lot of fun with it. We decided to, in the early 90s, take a bold leap into the 80s for aerodynamics work. So we went to NASA, learned about their airfoils, took things that, uh, that they had done. But we weren't quite happy with the NASA airfoil being a little aerodynamic tweaker, so we had to modify our airfoil, kind of thinning it out, just like that RC model back in the day. So anyway, we purposefully designed our Nemesis airplane to kick butt and dominate air racing classes. So the results of that airplane are pretty darn astounding. We won 47 out of 50 air races with that that it was ever in. We won nine consecutive national championships. 16 world speed records we set with that airplane. We won six Formula One uh, points championships with it. And that airplane now is, uh, resides in the Smithsonian, uh, right across from the Enola Gay. And uh, it's an awesome uh, uh, honor for us to have our plane sitting there that close. So it's a wonderful airplane to us. Awards that airplane won. We won a Blario medal, which I think Hoot Gibson won a Blario medal for a type, uh, time to climb in his uh, race plane. Dick and Gina Yeager, uh, Dick Rutan, excuse me, Gina Yeager got the Blario medal for flying around the world in Voyager. We got three of them for Nemesis. It was great. We also, with that airplane, won the Pulitzer Aviation Trophy. Now, this is the same family that gives you the Pulitzer Award or uh, Pulitzer Prize for Literature. Pulitzer Prize for Literature gets a million dollars. So when we get notified that we're getting the Pulitzer Trophy, we're excited because we're thinking, hot dog, this is better than any sponsorship. Pulitzer Prize for Literature, million dollars. Pulitzer Aviation Trophy, lunch. So we got lunch, but we got four of them. So we, we're pretty proud of that. We also, uh, won a very prestigious medal awarded by Lockheed. That's the uh, Ben Rich medal. That's the one at the bottom uh, left there. Or you're right, excuse me. And uh, Ben Rich was the uh, basic uh, program manager designer of the F-117. So it was a very wonderful award for us, Lockheed. And Lockheed has never ever given that to anyone for something non-Lockheed. But most of our team people were Lockheed people, so. Very good. Last thing on this plane, Rush Limbaugh even wrote about us in his new letter and talked about us on his radio show. We were so successful with the airplane that aviation writers were saying, can we make some rules against Nemesis? Can we slow them down? They're dominating the class. Basically, Rush and his people popped to our, our defense and said, you know, basically the note says, lead the air racing to the big guys and tell everybody to go fly kites. So that was really uh, an honor for us with uh, our Nemesis Formula One. <clears throat> Excuse me. The interesting thing about the artist uh, rendition there, the artist who drew those pictures n didn't know us from Adam. So the top picture there is this little Jetson swoopy airplane and people having fun in it. And it says Nemesis on it. And then the one on the bottom when the dastardly looking ugly plane is the Formula One class. So we thought it was interesting that the artist had never ever seen anything that we had done, but yet he picked up on this. So kind of cool. So I'm going to show you a little video that is a, uh, a trailer for a 65 minute DVD video also coming out on television. We hope, we hope uh, 
early in the spring. We have these DVDs for sale, and I appreciate your support with this, but this is a, uh, a trailer of a video that was done. Covered four years of development for our new plane NXT. It's eight people going for one spot. Everybody wanted to fly it like a bird. One of the greatest sounds in the world is these engines as they start to crank up. We're going to go very fast. These airplanes are going to be pushing 500 miles an hour. Very high bands, high Gs, you know, you chips down around your elbows. Pilot, start your engines, you have a race. Nothing like this has ever flown before. Our purpose is to see how we can do what we can produce. It's a monumental undertaking for two people. You just have to want to make it happen and will it. It's a dangerous sport. I do forget to breathe. I think we're all equally petrified. We have had people killed. I've had teammates around me and say, breathe, breathe. Will it fly? That is a legit question. I think the aircraft it could be, you know, forever lost. There are times you, you could cry, and all you say, why do I do this? The thing was made to race. That's what we're here for. Lord be with me. Thanks. It really is a cool, uh, cool video. Um, I've watched it probably 50, 60 times, and every time I see it, I go, I can't believe we did all that. So it's, and, uh, it's pretty exciting. So anyway.